Hey everyone and welcome to Cooking with Lady T. Today we got something special. We're doing pork tenderloin in the crock pot. Oh yeah. This is a delicious meal and it, it can be done in, in six hours. Okay, first we're going to start with one and a half pounds of pork tenderloin. Here's a list of ingredients. But for the full list of ingredients, please go to the description box. And I'm just showing you uh, the main ingredients in order to get this dinner going. Yes, apple juice, y'all. So let's get started. We're going to start with one and a half cups of apple juice. Pour it in there. Then you're gonna take two medium onions and just rough chop them in big chunks. Same way with the potatoes. You're gonna take your potatoes. I did six medium size. I had a couple of small ones. And I just cut the small ones in half and the big ones, I cut them in quarters quarter size so four pieces stir it in and then now we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter and just slice it in love crock pot meals because you could just put everything in there set it and forget it <laughs> until it's time to eat <laughs> okay we're gonna add baby carrots you can use any carrots you like. I just happen to like the baby carrots. They're bite size. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of minced garlic. I love garlic. Sprinkle it around in there. Okay, then we're gonna take some Worcestershire sauce. And this is probably equal to about three tablespoons, what I'm putting in here. Black pepper. And this is probably a, not quite a teaspoon of black pepper. Then I love the, this is like bouillon cube chicken broth already crushed up for you you need some poultry gravy or any kind of gravy about two tablespoons of that and this will go ahead on and mix it up mix it up real good now we're going to add two teaspoons of light brown sugar. Stir it again. Stir it up really good. Stir, stir. Okay, now we're going to prep our tenderloins. You're going to take some olive oil and just drizzle it over each tenderloin. Okay, and just slather it down, coating the, the top and bottom. Now when you get your tenderloins, if you still have any silver skin on it, cut that and trim that off. I did that already. Now this seasoning here is what I call the everything love. This is a season that my mother gave me and it's got a mixture of a lot of ingredients. So to be safe, just get you a nice good rub. You can get a rub at any grocery store. Okay. And you're also going to be very generous with this on both sides so that flavor can penetrate the meat you can pierce your tenderloins 
um, but I don't. I just because they're already tender. Okay, so now let's place. We're gonna sit these tenderloin right on top of all the ingredients. I'm sort of shimmying them down a little bit, just creating a little bed for them. Like snuggle them in between all the vegetables. Like a little nook. Now we're gonna cover this and cook on high for four hours and then turn it down and cook it on low for two hours and dinner is served. Dinner is ready. Look at that. This is after four hours. I'm gonna let it sit in here another two hours. It'll be about 5.30 then. And then it's gonna be time to eat. I'm gonna boil me a pot of rice and some green beans and dinner is served. You know I got to try this pot liquor. Oh my God, that is so good. You can drink that pot liquor. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tenderloins out. And I'm actually going to thinly slice them and mix it back in here. Slicing it up. I had to get a sharper knife. Gonna put the meat back into the crock pot. Just dump it in there. You just putting it back in there, stir it up, and then hey, you can serve everyone a nice big old plate. Pork tenderloin in the crock pot. It's a great dish. Everybody will love it. Yes, get every piece back in there. Just stir it. Let it sit for another 10 minutes. And fix you, your family, and yourself a plate. And you are good to go. Thank y'all so much for watching. 